Hey everyone. We here at Xbox Era are excited about the potential of the indie developers this generation. We believe independent developers are vital to the industry and in that they can push new ideas and they can take risks in story, art, music, and game design that the bigger studios often can't afford to. As their tools will be much more capable this generation than last, and subscription services like Game Pass expose more gamers to their creativity, we thought it was pivotal to take a look at the ID at Xbox Twitch showcase on March 26th. The following titles shown are the 17 games that caught our attention the most. First up, we have Sable, which is an open-world exploration game. You play as the young girl Sable, searching for a fitting rite of passage mask that will allow you to return to your nomadic clan. The game has no combat or set storyline, instead emphasizing simple puzzle solving and discovery, featuring traversing sand dunes and ruins. Sable is scheduled to launch into Game Pass this year, 2021. Next up is Way to the Woods. There are two deers in a strange, abandoned world without humans who must find their way home. They are tasked with finding food, shelter, safety, and answers on their way back to the woods. This is a third-person adventure game being made by one person who was only 16 years of age when the game was originally revealed in 2019. No release date has been hinted at yet, but it will launch into Game Pass when it's ready. Echo Generation is a turn-based adventure game about a gang of kids investigating supernatural occurrences while battling monsters and mechs to save their small town. The game uses sprite-based pixelated visuals to effectively create a world that looks like it could be a cousin of something like Stranger Things. Echo Generation is set to release in 2021. Chivalry 2 is a multiplayer first-person slasher inspired by epic medieval movie battles. Players are thrust into the action of every iconic moment of the era, from clashing swords to storms of flaming arrows, to sprawling castle sieges, and more. The game features 64 player battlefields and is currently set to launch on June 8th, 2021. Second Extinction is an intense three player cooperative shooter where your goal is to wipe out the mutated dinosaurs that have taken over the planet. You must fight through a maelstrom of bullets, bombs, teeth, claws, and gore in your efforts to reclaim Earth. If you like Left 4 Dead, this may be the game for you as long as you don't mind replacing zombies with exploding dinosaurs. You and your friends will be able to experience it together on Game Pass towards the end of April 2021. Void Train was one of the games shown where while watching its reveal trailer, I struggled to tell what was going on or what I was intended to do, but I knew that I wanted to experience it. This game is described as taking an adventure on an interdimensional express. You play as mechanics who have fallen into a new world for them with their own rules and laws. The player will be able to play alone or online multiplayer is available for up to four people. On the way, you will meet outlandish creatures, discover many secrets, solve various puzzles and difficult challenges. Currently, this is looking to be a 2022 release. Astria Ascending from Artisan Studios caught our attention due in part to the fact that it's being made with the help of Final Fantasy veterans and displayed stunning, colorful hand-drawn 2D art. You will explore a vast world on the brink of chaos in a mature, emotional JRPG. Astria Ascending has turn-based combat, a focus on story, and expansive customization. It is set to launch this year, 2021, on Game Pass. Narita Boy is described as a heartfelt love story to the 1980s, featuring a narrative-driven adventure that takes players to a game inside a game, battling powerful bosses and overcoming puzzles in order to uncover the secrets of the digital kingdom and, ultimately, its creator. This 2D side-scrolling action platformer caught our eyes with its flashy techno aesthetic. The developers say to expect analog synthesizers to pay homage to the 80s. Unfortunately, you don't have to wait at all to play this title as it is launching into Xbox Game Pass on March 30th, 2021. 
Omno is a third-person adventure that the developer describes as a game that will take you through lush forests, across sun-blasted deserts, over a frigid tundra, and through the power of a lost civilization will even carry you to the clouds. On the way, you will meet strange creatures, encounter many surprises, and maybe make a friend. Besides offering an interactive world, Omno will challenge you with puzzles, hidden secrets, and multiple obstacles to overcome in a 3D puzzle platforming style. For us, the reveal trailer appears to be a nice variety of environments for exploration, and as there aren't that many 3D platforming games these days, we are hoping Omno can scratch that itch when it comes to Game Pass this summer 2021. Loot River is a top-down roguelike hack-and-slash with RPG elements taking place in procedurally generated dungeons. The aesthetic for this dark fantasy feels like what I'd expect from a top-down From Software game to look like. What makes it unique compared to other isometric roguelikes is that the gameplay will test your spatial awareness, as the piece of land you're standing on can be moved at will. This appears to offer both combat solutions and present puzzles you must solve. Currently, no release date has been given for this title. Exo Mecha is a free-to-play game that was first shown to us during the Xbox pre-show in July of 2020. An updated trailer during the Indie Showcase revealed the addition of a grappling hook and fire-breathing robot dinosaurs. Exo Mecha is an online competitive first-person shooter that takes place on a planet called Omeka. The game provides players an immersive experience with its high-quality visuals, flexible gameplay, giant mechs, unique gadgets and abilities, and boss battles. The developers confirmed there will be a Battle Royale mode as well. Look for this to launch as a console exclusive in August of 2021. Stalker 2 was first revealed to us during the Xbox 2020 July show, and set a new bar in terms of technical capabilities from an unestablished indie developer. Sequel to what is considered a PC cult classic, Stalker 2 is an open-world first-person shooter which blends immersive sim and horror elements. The game takes place in a world where a second explosion took place at Chernobyl in 2006, creating an irradiated place dubbed The Zone, where mutated creatures live in that bounty hunters explore. It is based on the world of the Russian novel Roadside Picnic in the film Stalker. The developers claim this will be one of the biggest open worlds to date, providing a non-linear story with multiple branching endings. During the Indie Showcase, the developers took time to show off highly detailed models. However, the lack of gameplay or release date has us believing this is one that is unlikely to come out this year. Whenever it does release, expect it to be console exclusive and launch on Game Pass for PC and Xbox. Death's Door is a fantasy action-adventure, set in a world where crows are in charge of reaping the souls of the dead. One of the crows gets sent on an assignment to a twisted place where nothing has died for several centuries. The game is a top-down action RPG in which you'll be able to customize your character while using melee weapons, arrows, and magic to overcome an array of beasts and demigods. From the reveal video, we saw fluid action mixed with impressively diverse and detailed enemies. Publisher Devolver Digital has Death's Door slated for a summer 2021 release. The newest title from Guacamele developers Drinkbox Studios, Nobody Saves the World is a humorous top-down action RPG painted with colorful, stylistic graphics. You'll unlock the ability to transform into a host of different character classes ranging from a rat to a magician. The developers say, you begin your adventure as a nobody, a pale androgynous humanoid who wakes up without any memories or pants. Soon after you find a powerful magic wand, it allows you to change to many different fantastic forms. Drinkbox says that unlike other RPGs, you won't have any grinding. Instead, you unlock abilities by completing quests in procedurally generated dungeons. Launching in 2021 into Game Pass, Nobody Saves the World is currently an Xbox console exclusive. Song of Iron first caught our eyes a few months ago with its stunning high-quality visuals and a stylish combat system uncommon for a 2D side-scrolling action game. You will make use of a bow, axe, and shield to fight your enemies, but you'll have to take care as weapons can be lost, arrows will run out, and shields will be broken. 
The developer describes it as, Behind you lies a trail of broken helms, shattered shields. You hold the axe of a fallen foe, worn and dented. It will suit its purpose. What lies ahead is still a mystery. Your goal is not. To save your people, you must find the great temple of the gods, but do not expect a warm welcome. The game is set to release in 2021, and we can't wait to see if it plays as well as it looks. 12 Minutes first captivated us when it was revealed at E3 2019. In the game, taking place from a top-down perspective, you play as a man coming home from what should be a romantic evening with your wife. A police officer arrives at the apartment and accuses your wife of murdering his father several years ago. He knocks out the husband and kills the wife. Every time 12 minutes have elapsed or the man dies, the loop restarts and pops the man right back at the start of the evening. Your goal is to change the outcome of the time loop. Annapurna was able to lay on some big names to the voice cast, which includes James McAvoy, Daisy Ridley, and Willem Dafoe. When we think about indie games taking risks or doing new things, few set a better example than 12 Minutes. This is the other game that made all of our most anticipated indie lists. We should finally have the opportunity to get our hands on 12 Minutes in 2021. And rounding it out is The Ascent, which first caught our eye during Microsoft's show in May of last year. This year's updated trailer was even more impressive, making it one of the only two games to make all of our lists. Looking like a cyberpunk Diablo with guns, The Ascent is a solo and co-op action RPG allowing up to four players. It is described by the developers as The mega corporation that owns you and everyone, The Ascent Group, has just collapsed. Confusion and chaos ensue. Security and order are in disarray, and without protection, everyone is left to fend for themselves. You have to stop gangs and hostile corporations from taking over and discover what really happened. The showing at the Twitch event put more focus on loot and RPG elements, showing that there are more layers of depth in addition to those beautiful explosions. And thankfully, The Ascent is expected to launch into Game Pass in 2021. Thanks for watching everyone, and please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know in the comments below what you're looking forward to most from this show. And we'll see you here next time on Xbox Era.